The Sahara is one of the hottest places on Earth. It's an extremely harsh environment, receiving less than one inch of rainfall per year. Despite this, 2.5 million inhabitants live within the Sahara, with the desert spanning across 10 countries, and it's expanding southwards at a rate of 48 kilometers per year, which is further degrading the land and eradicating the already scarce livelihoods of populations. It is now encroaching on more populated areas in the Sahara region, where 44 million people live, and it is said to be 10% larger than it was a century ago. In this region, temperatures are rising faster than anywhere else on Earth, and since the 1970s, it has been affected by severe droughts. This has come at a huge cost. Land degradation is currently estimated at 490 billion per year. The Sahara Desert is just one example of how deserts are expanding across the world. It's estimated that more than 1 billion people, which is roughly one-eighth of the world's population, actually live in desert regions. And a further 1 billion people across 100 countries are threatened by desertification. Desertification refers to land degradation in arid, semi-arid and sub-humid areas, resulting from various factors, including climatic variations and human activities. When land degradation happens in the world's drylands, it often creates desert-like conditions. Drylands take up 41.3% of the land surface area, and up to 44% of the world's cultivated systems are in drylands. Water scarcity is the gap between the demand for water and its supply. In drylands, there is a high demand for water, despite there being a lack of supply. Water scarcity is said to affect between 1 to 2 billion people. It is estimated that nearly half of the world's population in 2030 will be living in areas of high water stress, and it could displace up to 700 million people. It is for this reason, innovators across the world are trying to turn this around. In this video, we will show you how the first ever off-grid water production system is creating water from thin air in the desert. This breakthrough technology is on the forefront of drought solutions, helping to provide free water for billions of people living in drylands across the world. So stick with us as we dive into today's video. Mali, a landlocked country in Western Africa, was chosen as the perfect testing location for a drought solution technology that can create water out of thin air. Since most of the country lies in the southern Sahara Desert, with up to 65% of Mali's total landmass being desert or semi-arid desert, although Mali is one of the largest countries in Africa, it has a relatively small population, which is largely centered along the Niger River. The Niger River flows in its interior, functioning as the main trading and transport artery to the country. Sections of the river flows periodically, providing much-needed fertile agricultural soil along its banks, as well as creating pasture for livestock. In Mali, three-quarters of the population rely on agriculture for food and income, and most are subsistence farmers, growing rain-fed crops on small plots of land, according to the Food and Agricultural Organization. However, droughts and the continuing advancement of the Sahara is causing forced migration, and conflict amongst agricultural communities. As a result, there has been a decline in agricultural production, reducing household assets and leaving many of Mali's poor even more vulnerable. Mali is just one example of many agricultural communities across the world who face the challenges of desertification and water scarcity. This is why Project Sun Glacier is creating solutions for climate change by utilizing the power of the sun combined with new technology which is cost-effective and efficient to bring water to drought-prone regions. The project is led by App Verhegen, a Dutch sculptural artist, writer, filmmaker and innovator with a fascination for nature. After travelling to the Arctic, he saw firsthand the effects of climate change. Inspired by looking for solutions instead of placing blame, his vision was to utilise the elements available in our changing climate. He realised that more sunshine is available in places where water is scarce and that by utilising the power of the sun, by using solar panels, he could power a machine which relies on a process of condensation to create and collect water. But extracting water from thin air seems impossible in dry desert conditions since humidity is almost zero. However, the Sun Glacier team made of scientists and innovators knew that it wasn't impossible since although hot deserts seem dry, they still contain an amount of water in the air. This is known as absolute humidity. App Verhagen says that the absolute humidity in deserts is up to five times more than in the Netherlands, 
it's mostly because of the high temperatures that it doesn't rain. For the Sun Glacier team, controlling the temperature within the water harvesting unit is the key to making water from thin air. The harvester comprises of two separate devices, an energy unit which draws and stores power from solar panels, and the water maker which uses the energy to cool down a metal plate. Once this temperature is low enough, humidity in the air condenses against the metal, creating water droplets which drip down into an area to capture the water. Sun Glacier says that the liquid that's harvested is similar to rainwater and can be used for agriculture or cleaned for drinking. After the initial testing of the machine in Mali, it was obvious that more work was needed to improve the technology. Over the last 12 years, Sun Glacier has been upgrading and optimizing the technology. Tests have demonstrated that this condensation method is at its maximum efficiency, whilst pushing the climatical boundaries of conventional technology. They have created several more efficient versions, such as the DC-30 model which is much more cost-effective since it has no battery, no inverter and no moving parts that can break. It can be plugged into a cheap small solar panel and the cooling device only costs $3. Another model is Droplet 20, which produces up to 30 litres of clean water per day. This is a lightweight compact device, which is built into a mobile flight case. It is easy to transport and tough for travel. Sun Glacier has developed the compact machine with multiple power options, with a 24 volt connection so it can be directly connected to the solar energy installation, powered by battery or plugged into a power grid with a cooling capacity of 80 to 620 watts. This highly intelligent system produces up to 3 litres of water per kilowatt hour. Very real opportunities now exist for water from the Sun Glacier technology to be used for drinking in off-grid locations and for agricultural scaled-up applications, including greenhouse production. According to Abver Hagen, we can introduce positive signals in the discussion about climate change. Instead of naming, blaming and shaming, he wants to add a positive focus. He says, our climate has always been dynamic. Cultures always adapt to these changes. Right now it seems that our climate is changing very rapidly, so extra fast response is required. The Sun Glacier project has put forward the essence that climate change means culture change.